No, recording. All right. It's gonna rain again. Hope not. Hey guys. Hi. In a recent interview, Scott Allen Turner asked us, what is the story of our financial awakening? And we'll link to that interview when it comes out in the fall. But it got me thinking about possibly the most important thing I ever learned about financial independence, personal finance, and we've never shared it with you. We consider ourselves more than lucky to have discovered personal finance at such a young age. And it's because Mike at the age of 17 was in the car with his dad and he heard a story Dave Ramsey told on the radio. And the story goes like this. There are two friends just graduating high school, both 19 years old, Ben and Arthur. Ben decides he wants to start investing now. So with summer jobs and in between classes, he managed to save $2,000 a year. And from the age 19 to 26, invests every year that $2,000. After 26, he stops completely. Arthur, on the other hand, decided that he couldn't afford to invest the $2,000 a year. He wanted to enjoy college, but after he graduated and got a job, he got his act together. So at 27, Arthur begins investing, and instead of stopping after eight years like Ben, he continues for the rest of his life. So to recap, we have Ben, who invested for eight years at a young age and then completely stopped, and Arthur, who started a little bit later and continued investing for his entire adult life, 39 years. Who do you think ended up with more money in retirement? Well, we wouldn't be telling you this if there wasn't a plot twist, so you probably guessed it. Even though he only invested $16,000 over eight years, Ben ended up with a whopping $2.3 million. Not only that, it was 700,000 more than his friend Arthur, who started just six or seven years later. I know this sounds like trickery, but aside from the 12% return that Dave Ramsey assumes in that story, I can assure you the math adds up. And it's because of a phenomenon called compound interest. As Albert Einstein is famously quoted saying, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. It was 10 years ago I heard that story and that is how we got into personal finance. And that same year I decided to max out our IRAs and we've done it every year since. So in videos like why the rich get richer and how do you view money, when we talk about your money making you more money, this is what we're talking about. But we say it so often you probably don't think twice about it, when in reality you should be thinking, holy two million dollars? If my parents had just told me to invest hundred and fifty dollars a month when I turned 19, why don't they teach this in school? I don't get, I pay more for that for my car and it's not even a nice car. But the sad part is that most people use this phenomenon to their disadvantage because they carry a balance on their credit card and make the minimum payments. They end up paying interest on their interest instead of earning interest on their interest. I heard about all of this because of Mike. It wasn't from my parents and it wasn't in school. I did take an economics class though. I think I had to pick pretend stocks or make a business, I don't remember. So where does that leave us? What if you're not 19? What if you're just hearing about this for the first time and you're in your 30s or in your 40s? Well, it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. You can't get that time back. You can't make up for what you lost already, but you can invest more to end up where you would have been. That's the bad news. The good news is that the magic of compound interest works no matter what your age is, and you are infinitely better off if you invest today as opposed to tomorrow. So use that as a motivation to use what time you have left to your advantage. Even if you don't end up like a Ben, you could do a lot worse than being an Arthur with 1.5 million or 1 million or half a million dollars in retirement. And if you are an Arthur, use this opportunity to inspire potential Bens out there. Tell your kids what they could be missing out on. I think if most kids were given the option of a gadget every month now or $2 million later in life, most kids would probably take the gadget now. We're not kidding anybody, but I think they should at least have the option, right? An easy way to do that would be to share this video with them. Give them the option. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.